Hey guys, welcome back to the Garrison Garden here at Fort Dobbs State Historic Site. Uh, today, heirloom seeds and seed saving are very popular with uh, home gardeners, uh, but it's certainly not a new practice. And in fact, in today's video, we're going to take a look at an 18th century method of cucumber seed saving. One of my favorite primary source documents that I use in the garden here at Fort Dobbs is John Randolph's book, A Treatise on Gardening. Uh, John Randolph lived in Williamsburg, Virginia, where he served as Virginia's Attorney General. Uh, he served under the last Royal Governor, uh, Lord Dunmore, uh, in Virginia. Uh, Randolph was uh, an avid gardener, and he had studied the methods uh, in Philip Miller's uh, English Gardener's Dictionary. Uh, he had adapted those methods uh, to the climate of Virginia, which was a lot different from England. And in the mid-1760s, uh, he wrote his book, A Treatise on Gardening, to uh, talk about some of those methods. Uh, the book is, is uh, divided up into different sections, uh, depending on the different vegetables. And in the uh, cucumber section, he talks about a method of saving seeds uh, that he says is very popular. So I've got a couple cucumbers on the vine here that have, uh, have left uh, to grow uh, since they came out in mid-May uh, or so. It's now the first week of uh, August, so we're ready to harvest those and try out this method of seed saving from uh, Randolph's book. Hey guys, welcome into the storeroom here at Fort Dobbs. Uh, the storeroom would have probably been where the soldiers would have uh, stored their garden tools, their garden seeds, uh, those sorts of things. So I thought it would be appropriate to move in here for the next step of this process. You see we've got our cucumbers here in front of us. They look more like a, a watermelon. Uh, they've been on the vine now for several months. They've gotten very large. Uh, so hopefully when we cut into these, they have some nice large seeds that we can save. So I'm going to read for you now the instructions that we have uh, from Randolph's book. He says, Most people are fond of gathering their seed from the first early fruit, leaving one cucumber on a vine nearest the heart of the plant. In August, your seeds will be ripe enough. Then cut open the cucumber and put pulp and seed into a tub, there to remain eight to ten days, stirring them every day to the bottom with a stick. At the expiration of that time, pour water into the tub, and by stirring it often and repeating it, the scum will rise to the top and your seed subside, which are to be dried and put into a bag, and are best when three or four years old. So we're going to cut these open. We've got this uh, redware bowl here that we're going to put the uh, seed in. We've got a stick here that we're going to stir them with. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we've got our bowl here. It's filled with our seeds and pulp. So it created quite a bit from those two large cucumbers. Uh, so we're gonna let this sit uh, for about eight to 10 days, according to the instructions. Uh, each day we're gonna stir it to the bottom with a stick. And after that eight to 10, 10 day period, uh, we will add the water and continue the process and we'll be able to get these dried and saved. Okay, it's been about nine days since we harvested the cucumber, cut it open, put the seeds and the pulp uh, into this bowl. Uh, so you can see here it's kind of reduced down to this uh, sludge. Uh, the seeds, I've noticed, have gotten a lot larger. They've soaked up a lot of that uh, pulpy material, the liquid from it. And so this uh, kind of this sludge has formed on the top. Uh, so the next 
step in the process, uh, Randolph says uh, to uh, pour water into the bowl and hopefully the, uh, the sludge will rise to the top, uh, the seeds will subside, he says, or sink to the bottom. Uh, we can scrape that sludge off the top, drain the water, and we can then uh, collect our seeds. They'll need to be dried, of course, and then he says to uh, store them in a bag. Uh, he says they're best after three or four years. So let's pour the water in and see what happens. Okay, so we've poured the water in, we've stirred, uh, like he said to do, and most of the, uh, the cucumber seeds, uh, the ones that are that were plumped up, that were fatter, uh, have indeed sunken to the bottom of the bowl. On the top of the bowl, you got this skim here, uh, as well as some of the, some of the uh, flatter seeds that maybe didn't uh, do as well. Uh, but the bulk of the seeds are down at the bottom of the bowl. So I'm gonna go and skim this water off, uh, pour the water off, strain it off, and collect our seeds and get them ready for drying. Okay, see so we've got our seeds here. Uh, we've got them out of the bowl. And once we put the water in, uh, the seeds really did subside to the bottom. Like he said, the, the sludge came to the top. I had a scrap piece of uh, linen here that I strained uh, the, the seeds several times through, washed them uh, several times to get all that uh, sludge out. Uh, but the sludge, like I say, came to the top and it was easy to, to scrape that off and uh, get the seeds right out of the bottom. Uh, so I'll spread them out on this uh, board here, set them in the wind to seal the fort in the sun for a few days and let them dry. And uh, he says to uh, <clears throat> store them in a bag and they'll be uh, best after three or four years. Uh, so we're going to dry these and store them and hopefully be able to uh, plant these soon. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a fun little project for me to be able to take these instructions straight out of the 18th century, bring them over here to the uh, 21st century and give them a try. Uh, if you would like to read uh, John Randolph's book, A Treatise on Gardening, it is available uh, online uh, for free through uh, Google Books and several other websites. I'll leave a link uh, down below in the description section if you'd like to check that out. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Also, uh, don't forget to like and follow us on Facebook, as well as our website, fortdobbs.org. We'll keep you updated on everything that's going on here at the fort. So as always, stay safe, thanks for watching, and have a great day. As you can probably imagine, a bowl full of cucumber seeds and cucumber pulp sitting around a hot fort in a bowl for 10 days doesn't smell that great. When Captain Waddell gets back from Salisbury, he's going to be ticked. So if you see him, tell him I went that way. Right.